And on top of our news tonight, the Minister of Power says the much-awaited power badge will arrive on Sunday with a reminder of a high possibility of an increment in tariffs. Briefing the media, Deputy Minister for Power, John Ginapo, said the consumer will bear the full cost of production of power from the badge. At 14 cents per kilowatt hour, power from the badge, the Ministry says, is the cheapest. The power badge is set to arrive at the Tema port by 6 a.m. on Sunday, November 29. With it will come an increment in tariffs, but the Ministry of Power says it's not sure how much end users will pay. Deputy Minister for Power John Jinapo said total cost of power generation from the badge will be passed on to the end user. So I've been informed by the operators of the badge that the badge is set sail. And so we'll keep our fingers crossed and hope that uh, bearing any unforeseen circumstances, the badge arrives on time. But let me put it on record that these are machines. When the badge arrives, it does not immediately generate power. The power ministry has refuted claims power generated from the badge will cost as much as 65 cents per kilowatt per hour. It was confident the tariff will not exceed 14 cents, which is competitive with other rates in the market pegged between 15 to 25 kilowatts per hour. Justification for the upward adjustment in tariffs from power generated from the badge remains unclear if it is pegged among the cheapest. The cost of generation, the cost of fuel will be borne by the end user. And so all of us have to brace ourselves and ensure that we pay the right tariffs. And when we mean the right tariffs, we are not talking of milking people, we are not talking of exorbitant price, but at least what is fair and what the PURC gives ought to be passed through because it's the end user that bears the cost of producing power in Ghana. John Jinapo also told the media government is in control of the constant supply of fuel for the badge. Tamaport, he added, has also been prepared for the arrival of the badge. Upon the arrival of the badge, you will do what you call a tie-in. The cables, the transformers and all that ought to be tied in. You have to run the machine, you have to test it, you have to test the power. And so it's quite a Herculean process. I have a meeting today with the minister and the uh, operators of the badge. And so when we have the meeting and we get a timeline, we shall gladly put that out for you.